Hello, this video is on the surface area of solids with plane faces, as shown here in the syllabus. The formulas for areas of plane shapes are given on page 2 of your formula booklet. Shapes with three dimensions, length, width and height, are called solids. A face of a solid is one of its flat surfaces. A cube has six faces. A cuboid also has six faces. A triangular prism has five faces. And a square-based pyramid also has five faces. The surface area of a solid is the sum of the areas of all its surfaces. For solids with only plane or flat surfaces, the surface area is the sum of the areas of all its faces. The faces of a cube are squares. The faces of a cuboid are rectangles or squares. The faces of a triangular prism are rectangles or squares and triangles. And the faces of a square-based pyramid are triangles and a square. The surface area is the same as the area of the net required to make the figure. The net of a cube is shown here. The surface area of a cube is 6 times s squared, where s is the length of the side of the cube. The net of a cuboid is shown in this diagram. The surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 times LW plus 2 times HW plus 2 times HL, where L is the length, W is the width, and H is the height of the cuboid. The net of a triangular prism is shown in this diagram. The surface area of a triangular prism is equal to 2 times the area of the end triangles plus the areas of the three rectangles. The net of a square-based pyramid is shown in this diagram. The surface area of a square-based pyramid is equal to the area of the four triangles plus the area of the square base. In this question, we are asked to calculate the surface area of the chocolate bar, which is in the shape of a right triangular prism, as shown. If we begin by identifying the width and letting the width of the bar be w centimeters. We can use trigonometry to find W. 2 cm is the opposite length, opposite the 30 degree angle, and W is the adjacent length. Remembering that tangent is the ratio of opposite to adjacent, writing tan 30 equals 2 divided by W, and rearranging the equation gives W equals 2 divided by tan 30. Alternatively, we can cover up adjacent in the trigonometry triangle, showing that opposite needs to be divided by the tangent of the angle. Performing the calculation, so pressing 1 for run matrix, pressing the fraction button, entering 2 for the numerator, scrolling down, pressing the tan button, and then 30 degrees, and pressing execute to perform the calculation, giving the value shown. We can press the display button to convert the answer into a decimal. Alternatively, you can use solver on your calculator to solve the equation. From the main menu, select equation, and then press F3 for solver. Type in the original equation, so pressing TAN, 30, and SHIFT to access equals at the bottom, and then pressing the fraction button, 
entering two for the numerator, scrolling down and pressing the X variable for the denominator. Pressing execute to enter the equation. And then pressing F6 to solve the equation. Given the width W again is 3.46 centimeters. To calculate the surface area, perhaps draw the net, adding on the value of the width. To find the area of one of the triangles, use the formula 1 half base times perpendicular height. Performing the calculation, remembering to use an accurate value of the base gives the value shown. To find the surface area, add the areas of the two triangles and the three rectangles. Writing and performing the calculations gives the value shown. So the surface area of the chocolate bar is 54.2 centimeters squared, correct to three significant figures. In this question, you're asked to find the surface area of the pyramid shown. If we begin by perhaps drawing the net, and then letting the height of the triangles be L centimeters halving the side of the square gives 6.6 .6 centimeters as shown. Identifying that Pythagoras' theorem can be used in the triangle shown to find the length of the hypotenuse L. Substituting in the values as shown and performing the calculation gives the value shown. So the heights of the triangles are 12.7 centimeters, correct to three significant figures. To find the area of one triangle, use the formula one half base times perpendicular height, substituting in the values of base and height as shown, and performing the calculation gives the area shown. To find the surface area of the pyramid, add the areas of the four triangles and the one square base. Writing and performing the calculation, remembering to use accurate values, gives the value shown. So the surface area of the pyramid is 508 centimeters squared, correct to three significant figures. To find the surface area of this pyramid, again perhaps start by drawing the net. The triangles are isosceles, halving the side of the square as shown and identifying that Pythagoras' theorem can be used to find L. Substituting in the values, rearranging and performing the calculation gives the value shown. So the height of the triangles is 5.6 centimeters, correct to three significant figures. Finding the area of one triangle, again using the formula one half base times perpendicular height, performing the calculation gives the value shown. To find the surface area of the pyramid, add the areas of the four triangles and the square base. Writing and performing the calculation, remembering to use accurate values, gives the value shown. So the surface area of the pyramid is 61.3 centimeters squared, correct to three significant figures.